Well, blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, who was and is and is to come. Yes, Lord. It is celebrated as the Lord's mm -hmm. Resurrection Day. Hallelujah. When I was raised today or yesterday or whenever he was raised, Hallelujah. he is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He went to the Garden of Gethsemane. He mm -hmm. descended for us. Mm -hmm. He took what the Father had to give him. He said, nevertheless, Hallelujah. not my will, but Amen. that will be done. Amen. I will die for your people. Yes, Lord. And he went to Pilate's all I was judged mm -hmm. and flogged, and a Hallelujah. crown of thorns put on his head. Mm -hmm. And they mocked him, pulled his mm -hmm. beard and all that. Then they took mm -hmm. him to Caiaphas's all who gave him God's judgment also. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And then mm -hmm. he went to the cross of Calvary and Hallelujah. laid his life down for mm -hmm. you and for us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. And then when he laid his life down mm -hmm. and the old devil thought he got mm -hmm. him, he went down into hell mm -hmm. and loose his saints that were held mm -hmm. down there. And preach to them that was used as an example to us. Mighty and God. those who as men received them as Lord Hallelujah. and Savior. He took the whole host of them into yes, heaven. Lord. So he never even leave hell. Yes, but they left hell and went to heaven by himself. Mm -hmm. He took a whole host. Hallelujah. Thousand, maybe millions of souls mm -hmm. into heaven with him. Placed Hallelujah. them at paradise. Presented himself to the Father. Received the crown of all authority mm. and power as king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he went to the throne mm -hmm. to seal on our behalf. Mighty That's God. the Christ we are presenting Hallelujah. today. He is mm -hmm. alive. God. Because he's alive, we are alive <laughs> in yes, him. Lord Jesus. Because the church's life mm -hmm. is hid mm -hmm. in Christ, in Hallelujah. God. Mighty the Bible God. says that our lives yes, are first hid Christ. in Christ. Christ. In God, it's the blood of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. And then in God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, okay, Lord. You know? It's okay. Praise okay, God. We have the victory. Yes. So yeah. we're serving the risen Lord who is interceding mm -hmm. for the church. We serve yes, the Holy Lord. Spirit to lead the church, to be the mm -hmm. chief of the church. And we mm -hmm. follow the Holy Spirit, obey the word of God, mm -hmm. and it keeps us saved. Hallelujah. Until he comes and calls it us all. Yes, Lord. So today we're going to present to you yes, Lord. the risen Christ. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Yes, okay. Keep Hallelujah. We have the Glory victory. to God in the, in the highest. Name of Jesus. So the first song we're going to mm -hmm. sing today is He Arose. Amen. He Arose, a victor over dark domain. Mighty God. And He yes, lives Lord. forever with the saints yes, to reign. Lord. Thank you. So we are serving a risen Savior. In Jesus' name. He's in the world today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory we to God. We are His representative mm -hmm. here. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory, Glory in the grave. Jesus, my Savior, waiting the coming day. Jesus, oh Lord, up from the grave he rose with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose. The victor over dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. Jesus arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ rose. Vainly they watched his bed, Jesus, my Savior. Vainly they see the dead, Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he rose. With a mighty triumph for his foes. Yes, he arose, the victor over dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. 
He arose, Christ arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Death could not hold its prey, Jesus, my Savior, he tore the bars away, Jesus, my Lord. From the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. Yes, he arose, the victor over dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. Jesus arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Death could not hold his prey, Jesus, my Savior. He tore the bars away, Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. Yes, he arose, the victor over dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. Hallelujah. He arose. Jesus, O oh Lord, arose. Hallelujah, Christ rose. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb of God forever. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Holy Ghost, we love you. My heart sing with gratitude. It's praise again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lamb of God for him. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb forevermore. Hallelujah, praise his name with gratitude. My heart sing with thankfulness. His name again, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lamb, oh praise His name, hallelujah, praise the Lamb of God forever, hallelujah, praise His muchness, wondrous name, my heart sings. With gratitude, his praise again, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lamb forevermore, hallelujah, praise the Lamb with gratitude, hallelujah, praise his wondrous matchless name. My heart sing with gratitude, his praise again, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lamb, hallelujah, praise the Lamb, who oh, praise his name, hallelujah, praise his matchless name, amen. My heart sing with thankfulness, his name again, his praise again. Hallelujah, praise the
praise the Lamb forevermore. Hallelujah, praise His name. All oh, my heart sing with thankful heart His praise again. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Oh, hallelujah, praise the Lamb of God for it. Hallelujah, praise His holy name for it. My heart sing with gratitude, His praise again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb I love. It is a mighty thing to think about Jesus. Setting for us the most perfect examples that every one of us, of us need. He came and he lived his life and I wouldn't go there. It's a long story. And he preached the gospel. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He wrought miracles. And man still refused him and didn't accept him. But he had a purpose. And it does have us here for a purpose too. And there are times like Jesus, the enemy will bring us down into judgment, which is wrong, and we're not guilty of it. And we have need to see like Jesus on our knees and say, Father, I am not in the wrong. I know my soul and my heart is right with you. Nevertheless, for that way I will go through this. Jesus, the powerful one that healed the sick and raised the dead, worked miracles and fed thousands with little bit and all those things, humbled himself Hallelujah. as the Lamb, according to Isaiah 53 and other scriptures. Yes. Though he was a lion, yes, Lord. allowed them to crucify him as the Lamb of God that would take away our sins. Allow them to put his body into a tomb, loan to him. He allowed Mary to anoint his body to preserve amen. his body for the three days that he be absent amen, from amen, it. Amen, amen. <laughs> I'm talking about the Lamb. I have begun to get introduction of who our Christ is. Amen. And then he allowed them to see in the tomb and put 140 yes, soldiers Lord. there. I said foolish because when the angels descend from heaven to raise him from the dead, they all fall like dead men, or they fell like dead men. You know? But in between the time you went into Hades, you went into hell. Now, not as only the Lamb to redeem those who are hell bound down there, but you went as the lion of the tribe of Judah. He took the keys of death and the head from the old dragon. Hallelujah. The Bible says that yes. the devil knew what he was doing, he was not of crucifying him. He yes, didn't Lord. know that he making him a lamb, that he was going to rise up as the lion and fight him off in hell and take Hallelujah. the keys of death and hell yes, and Lord. took the host of redeemed mm -hmm. ones down there and took them Hallelujah. to paradise. And went to his coronation and his mission to continue to intercede for this Christ. So as I sum this up, I'm looking back on the story. And I realize more and more how Jesus Christ offered himself as the Lamb. And let men that he made treated him less than dogs until his old visage was changed. Took death upon himself for you and for high. Allow and we what they allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. Then he now who is the authority and power yeah. who made Satan and hell and all that yes, went down into the burning Mighty fire God. and yes. loose those Mighty who are called God. by his name. Satan backing Mighty off in confusion God. because he rejoiced when he died. Oh, yeah. Think that he had him no and he had the word. Mm -hmm. But Jesus Christ said, Now come here to me. And he took from him the keys of death and hell and silenced him once and forever, saying, I am the king of kings. I made you. You forget that? 
I made you a devil. Glory to God. You want to hold my people captive? Glory to God. I want to defy the body of God's people. I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. He took the keys, man, and he took all those hosts of hosts of hosts of so many millions of the souls for 4,000 years. Hallelujah. Took them into heaven. Place them into yes. paradise to wait for us. Yes, the church of the first Lord is spoken of in Hebrews. Glory to God. That's the Lord Jesus Christ I'm singing about. Yes. So you can join me if you want to. But I'm having a good time. I'm going to show in the spirit of my mind while I'm singing and what the Lord done for us. So I want to sing this refrain one more time. Welcome, welcome everyone. We love, 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 love you. Hallelujah. To the love of God. We worship you. Right with you. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, praise the Lamb who has become the land of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Praise is much this wondrous name. My heart sing with gratitude. It's praise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the Lamb of God for him. Hallelujah. Praise the loving Lamb of God. Hallelujah, who has become the lion of the tribe of Judah, setting God's people free. Our oh, hearts sing with gratitude, his praise again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the land, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the land with thankful hearts. Hallelujah. Praise that love who became the king. Our oh, sing with gratitude. His praise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the Lamb of God for him. And let me tell you something, brethren. This is interesting. Because the Bible says in Revelation, that Jesus has made us kings and priests unto El Helion, the man of war, Jehovah, Yahweh. So now the church of the living God who have sold themselves out to God and become true sons of God are now anointed and appointed as kings under the king of kings. The fact matters down here. When we have won our war, we have been placed in on thrones and in thrones of kings there. So this is not a pure, pure thing. It's not a, it's not a real fickle state. It's a real spiritual warfare we're going through. And one day those of us who overcome by his power will reign with him as kings there. We'll come back on the earth to reign with him as kings. So, hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Forevermore. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. My heart sing with thankfulness and gratitude. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Join me, brethren. Hallelujah. Praise the conquering land of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb forevermore. My heart sing with gratitude. His praise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. It's Resurrection Sunday. Hey. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Can you see the us rising in the skies with the host of the saints going to heaven? Presented them to the Father. Oh, Lord, sing His praise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Oh, praise His name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Of God for him. Hallelujah. Praise his name forevermore. My heart sing 
with thankfulness his praise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Hi, 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 hi. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb of God for him. And then the Bible said the trump of God shall sound that the dead in Christ shall arise first. Hallelujah. And those that are alive shall be changed in the yeah. moment in the twinkling of an eye. Can you, a twinkling of an eye happens within a second. Hallelujah. Can you imagine the trumpet blowing? And those who are dead in Christ are rising within half of speed seconds. Jesus. And then the rest of saints who are alive and hurt change in the other half of the speed second. And he's taking the host of us to heaven. So he took a host from hell when he went to the grave. But when he comes back, when he returns the second time, he's taking the host of the church of the living God through the air. I think we we'll have a, a, a panic pour on the way to heaven. That's my perception. But it's going to be a mighty move on the earth. Glory to God. That's the God we're serving. That's why I have to be obedient because while I'm sitting here with revelation knowledge or I'm receiving repetitions of knowledge is already given and I'm seeing the reality of what he has promised. So he's coming back again. So let's be ready. Hallelujah. Let's be ready. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Glory. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. Coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh, yes, he's coming back again. He went away. Not to stay, he's coming back again. Jesus returned once again. He's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh, yes, he's coming back again. Went the way not to stay, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh, yes, he's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah, is coming back again with my word. I am God. With my word, I am God. For Jesus has redeemed us by his precious blood, I say. One day, one someday, he's coming back. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me, my new God, Prince of Peace. Is he is saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame? Wonderful is my Redeemer. Praise his name. How great is all God. How great is his name. He's the greatest one forever the same. He rolled back the waters from the mighty great sea. And he says, I leave you with your trust in me. Oh, born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Well, 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 born of the water, the spirit, and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. I'm born of the water, the spirit, and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. Hey, 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 born, 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 born again. Thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Oh, yes, I'm born of the water, the spirit of the blood. Thank God I'm born again. Yes, I'm born of the water, the spirit of the blood. Thank God I'm born again. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm 
Thy loving kindness, Lord, is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Jesus, thy loving kindness, Lord, is better than life. I love you, Lord. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee, oh, I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Lord, I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Lord, I will lift up my hands unto thy name. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Jesus, your loving kindness is better than life. Your loving kindness, yes, my Lord, is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Thy loving kindness, Lord, is better than life. Thy loving kindness, yes, my Lord, is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless Christ. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Here is one of my most favorite songs. I feel like I'm a public service if I don't worship on this song. Because it's a fact for every one of us. And it says, Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thank you. 
seeds of the mighty, mighty, mighty things happening to make all the possibilities possible. That's a God we serve, we know who we serve, we serve in spirit and in truth. We bear our tribulations and our trials until He comes and calls us for victors. Glory to God, because here we have no continuing sin. The Bible says, Great is thy faithfulness. To my brothers and sisters, firstborn. Great are your multitudes of tender mercies. Love, 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 love. Morning by high, high morning, new mercies we see. Yes, Father God. Oh, we individually as needed that. And graciously has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, Lord, unto me. That there is power for lifetime of sinning. Hey, 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 hey. And such a peace that abide the Lord, thy own dear presence, Lord, thy own dear presence, Lord, thy own dear presence to cheer and to guide. That there is strength, 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 strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all over with a thousand bees. Oh, glory, great is thy faithfulness. Oh, Father, great are your multitudes of tender mercies. Oh, 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 oh. Morning, by high, high, high morning. Brothers and sisters, new mercies, if you do any and one of us, see in our personal collected lives all across the earth, my brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord. All we have needed and had of provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, to
praise the Lord. Thank you, Minister Glorious, glory, 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 he has risen just as he said, come and see Glory. the place where he lay. Praise the Lord. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, he shall he live. Praise the Lord. Mighty God. That's in John eleven twenty five. 25. Mighty God. And first Corinthians 6 verse 14 says, And God raised the Lord and Amen. will also raise us up by his Amen. power. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mighty God. Amen. And one more praise the Lord. He says, We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death Amen. in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of of the Father, Hallelujah. we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like this or like his, we shall certainly be united with him Amen. in a resurrection like his. Mighty God, those are Romans on, 6, come on, come verse on. 4 to 5. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Praise we God. give God all the praise. <laughs> we give God all thanksgiving. Amen. Abba Father, we welcome you, the Father Jehovah, Hallelujah. the Lord God Almighty. We welcome the word, which is Jesus, Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is risen today. Hallelujah. He is alive and he is seated at the right hand of the Father and he is making intercessions for us. Glory to God. On, we thank God for the Holy Spirit, Amen. the comforter who abides with us, who will dwell with us and who lives with us because the word says greater is us Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Glory be to God. I thank you, Abba Father. I thank God for the Shekinah glory. We thank God for the angels. We thank God for the four corners of this earth, the east, the west, the north, and the south. Oh, Abba Father, we command the angels, praise God. We command Gabriel, Gabriel, praise God. We command, praise God, Raphael and all the other angels that are standing on guard. We thank the Lord because you are indeed a consuming fire. Praise the Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are standing and having all to stand. Mom, we thank you, that? Almighty God, there you're with us. And they, they said, greater that is with us than he that is in the world. Amen. I thank God for the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth gives us strength. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth give us the victory. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth give us the deliverance. We thank God for the atonement of the blood that has redeemed us and that has set us free. And we thank God that today we are arise in newness of life because our Savior lives and because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank <laughs> God. We're going to keep pressing on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have to share this. Hallelujah. We thank you to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. I got to share this. We thank you. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I just share that. We have the fire. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 H
And the prayer is coming forth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord of God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for your hope. We thank you for the hope. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you for protecting us from dangerous feet and unfeet. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. worship you with the next you. Oh, Father God. I come to you in the gap house. Oh, yes, God. For the Oh, yes, God, for the yes, Lord, of the I come yes, standing in the gap for America. I come standing in the gap. Oh, yes, God. Yes, Lord, for Jesus. Not a God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Not a God. No. I come standing in the gap, God. For 200 nations. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Yes, Lord. Not a God. Yes, Lord. Not a God. Oh, yes, God. 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 Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. That you don't condemn us, but you can us. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. Oh, yes, God. That you didn't throw us away. Oh, yes, God. Oh, we thank you. I'm all about it. I come right now, God. Get it all as your king, as your ambassador. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. And I'm playing all giants. I'm coming against any word of mercy. Anything I'm breaking that thing. That's a giant destruction. That was a warfare when the Holy Ghost in him. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. That was a warfare. We want that one praying again. We want that warfare to be accomplished in the mighty name of Jesus. When God uses his servant to also recognize the power of God working through them. And I'd like to have that one pray at least one more time. And possibly two more times in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost was mad. He was angry. From the Lord. Praise God, Jehovah himself. Thank you, prophetess. Minister Crystal Glenn for your faithfulness and for sending forth this prayer and this declaration. Praise God. I thank God for your obedience. Praise God. And I thank God for sending the prayer and the warfare prayer and the message out to the Father. Thank God for the victory. Hallelujah. We have won the victory today. Glory to God. Good morning, good morning. Happy resurrection day, brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we're so excited today, yeah. brothers. I know you yes, are the best yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Jesus yes. has yes. resurrected yes. everything yes. in our lives. Hallelujah. He's putting everything mm. together. Hallelujah. Yes. We just give him the glory. We thank mm. We thank God mm. for this victory that we yes. have yes. on this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, Prophetess Crystal Glenn, for sending forth that prayer. I know this was a message between you and Jehovah, and we give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again, mighty God. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Praise the Lord. And it says, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. That's in John 6, 40. We give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving for what he has done and for what he's about to do today in Jesus mighty name and of God you can come back and let the Lord have his way God bless you all praise God and you can say as the Lord please praise God mm -hmm. I can't be before you much longer thank God I have been trained to understand and realize what the Holy Ghost, the third person of the Godhead, wanted it. Steps into one's heart and mind and take over their faculties and speaks. Whether they're speaking prophet, uh, prophetically or they're speaking intercessorily or they're fighting a warfare in the spirit, they can know what's happening. Praise God. And maybe if I was to talk with the sister and ask her to open what she saw in the spirit while she went that language, it would be very surprising to us, but I'm not led to do that, and I would be rude enough to do that. But Prophet is saying, we just bless you in the name of the Lord God, you're going somewhere, you're under uh, the blood of Jesus Christ, and we're anointed, and thank God for manifesting through you, because those forces of darkness that you spoke to, that the Holy Ghost through you spoke to, get the message and back to all, praise God, so God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. I might sing just about one more song. 
Hallelujah. And the speaker is an ex to be heard. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Father, we give you thanks. Jesus, we give you thanks. Holy Ghost, you three who organized that power of battle just a while ago this morning through this moment, God. We appreciate you for thinking about us here on this great and effective open door. Ministries, Lord, I've been hearing much of this for quite a few while. But I thank you, Father, that you let me on this time when you move and must be your glory. So we thank you for your goodness and your mercies, Lord. And we pray a blessing upon this lady, upon her mother and her son, upon the plan and the destined plan you have for her, Lord. Uh, the power of God will dwell with her, the angel of God, the leader of every provision that means she needs of God to make her ministry possible will be given to her in the name of Jesus Christ. And may she fight a well fought battle until she hears, Come on, girl, it's supper time. Come on, my child, it's supper time. Come on, bad luck, it's supper time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I see my last song and the next voice you will hear. And this will not have another plan. The voice Thank you. of the speaker. God sent. God sent this song. They called him Jesus. He came to love. He ran for Cain, he bled and died to buy whole pardon. Saints on empty grave is there to prove all Savior lives. God said this son, his name is Jesus. He came at love, he land for thee, he bled and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Brothers and sisters, because Jesus lives, we can face tomorrow, honey, hallelujah, because he lives. All fear is gone, because I know, yes, I know, he was the future, and life is worth and living just because he lives. Thank you, Jesus. We'll cross what then one day. We'll cross the river and fly flies by. That war with pain. Thank you for the strength, Lord. As death gives way, gives way to victory. I'll see the light of glory and I know. That Jesus reigns because he lives. I can face the tomorrow because how and how it is a life. I, 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 I. All fear is gone because we know that we know that we know we he was a future. And life is worth a living just because he lives. And then one day, the church of God will cross the river and we'll fight life's fight. That war will take. And then as death gives way to victory, We'll see the lights of glory and we'll know that Jesus reigns. Because Jesus lives at the end of the church, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. 
Because we know that we know that we know who holds our future. And life is worth a living just because he lives. Heavenly Father, the time is right. Your servant is ready. The anointing, the empowerment, the Shekinah glory is here. The Lord has spoken what he wants to speak in the spirit realm. And we are loosed to do God's work. So Father, may that loosing rest upon the speaker this afternoon. God, all times are in your hand. And the speaker thinks that the message is a bit long. If you want to shorten it, you can shorten it. If you want to compact it, you can compact it, Lord. But Father, we pray today the Holy Ghost will have his way. From A to Z in and with this message. We pray for those of us who will hear that we take heed to what we have heard. And by the same anointing, we'll apply your word to our lives for your glory. Because we know that Jesus Christ lives and we live in him and him in the Father. So today, O oh Lord God, we loose you to have your way in this service. Lord, I decrease. And the speaker will increase by you. And it's the mighty name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. Oh, the Redeemer of his church. The triumphant Lord. Oh, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, the Almighty One. In whose name we pray. In whom we live and move and our be. Have your way today, we thank you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Congregation, your minister, your prophetess, God's servant, prophetess Keisha, prophetess Keisha, the congregation that God has provided for you to speak to now and tomorrow, the other day that this will be online. Go ahead, do what God gave you to do. Praise the Lord, glory to God, hallelujah. He gives the altar here. Hallelujah. Please excuse us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we give God all the glory. We give God all the praise, all thanksgiving for what he has done and for what he's about to do. Please get that scripture. Genesis. Praise the Lord. Turn it around, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father, mighty God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We've got to make sure we are right before his people. Glory to God, sir. Thank you. You can bring that, please. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank you, Abba Father, for what you have done and for what you are about to do. <laughs> In Jesus' name, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. First, I must give honor to the Lord. Praise God. I must give honor to Jehovah, the Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord. I give honor to Jesus, which is the word. Praise God. And I give honor to the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the tree in one, the Godhead, the triune God. Praise the Lord. And I give honor to my husband, Minister Solomon, LK Navasa, we reverence you, sir. Praise God. I want you to be seen also in this. Um, <laughs> so you are going to be my help, but be careful. Hallelujah. Praise God. We give honor to my husband. Praise God, who is my minister. Praise God, who is my lover, who is my friend, my friend who's so faithful. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Minister Vassal is in training. Hallelujah. 
and I thank God for him, for his life. I thank God for your ministry, sir. And I thank God for choosing you as my companion, my partner in ministry in this assignment, the purpose and destiny. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I must foremost give honor to our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. Glory be to God who is bringing us through this sacred time of the Passover season. We thank God for his word. We thank God that he is our Passover, praise God. And we thank God that he is giving us all these nuggets and these great mysteries, the revelations, the impartations, and foremost, preserving our soul. You know, our spiritual father, he is the greatest general in this dispensation on this earth. Praise the Lord that God is using, praise God, as one of the general to bring and save America and the nation. And my husband and family are very privileged to be able to be under this ministry Amen. and to have met our dear spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor, who is fighting with us, who is mentoring us, who is encouraging us, and who is standing in the gap and who is praying over our soul. And I thank God for our mothers, praise God. I thank God for Miss Norma Green, my mother, Miss, Mrs. Louise Vassell, who is right now in Jamaica again. And I thank uh -huh. God for Minister Crystal Glenn, who God has chosen Amen. to be the intercession Amen. for the ministry. Praise Amen. God, who's been a great friend Amen. and who has been a great dream officer Amen. who is raging war. Praise God. Amen. And we give God all the glory for her mother, Amen. for Mrs. Odella Glenn, and for Idris Glenn. Praise God. Amen. And for her friend family and for all our kingdom family amen. praise god amen. all our kingdom family we love you all i won't call names but i'm gonna give god all the glory i just want you to know that we are praying for you our friends our family our children i thank god for the testimony praise the lord i must give honor to the lord jesus christ for saving our son anthony do you know that Anthony has accepted the Lord as his personal Savior? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it was just on the way. It was on the 3rd of April this month during this time of celebration. It was on the 3rd of April. Glory to God. And, you know, Anthony's 14 years old. And he said to me, Mommy came to me after I had finished work. And I was upstairs because normally after I finish work, I usually go upstairs just to go rest. And when he came in, he saw Minister Vassal and he said, Minister Vassal, I have not seen my mom all day. I want to say hi to her. And so he came in and he said, hi, praise the Lord. Or I believe I was actually fasting. I was spending time before the Lord and I was listening to a great man of God. Hallelujah. And so about an hour later, he came back and he said, Mom and Saul, we were just getting ready for rest. And he said, I don't feel well. I said, what's wrong? He said, well, I was out playing with my friend and I had to leave my ball because the way that I felt, I didn't feel good in myself. And I said, okay, did you eat lunch? Did you have lunch? What did you eat? And he said, you know, I didn't eat very much, but... I had something before I went out to play ball. And I said, okay. And I said, how are you feeling? He said, well, I was trying to rest. And I was trying to go to sleep. But every time I would go to sleep, he said, I felt like I couldn't go to sleep. Something was on my mind. Something was in my thoughts. I was wondering if everything was okay. I keep seeing things. And I said, what? He said, well, I don't feel good. I said, okay, do you want us to pray for you? Do you want us to call, you know, for prayer at JMMI? Do you want us, or what do you want? Do you want us to take you to the hospital? And he said, yes, just take me to the hospital. And he's like, I'm just spinning and everything in about me just doesn't feel right. I said, okay, Minister Vassal, just get the car from the garage. I'm going to get myself dressed. And, you know, sooner or later, Minister Vassal went to get Anthony's clothes for him to be dressed 
and we were just supervising him in that time because when I felt him, he started to feel very cold, glory. And so I said to Minister Vassal, just take him downstairs, just guard him and watch him as he go down to step that he doesn't fall or doesn't trip. And anyhow, I got myself ready and I got in the car, glory to God. And when I got in the car, we were driving to the to the hospital because where we live in the country here in Niagara Falls, we do have an immediate hospital, but Minister Vassal said, is, let's just drive him to the better hospital that is in another city outside of Niagara Falls in St. Catharines. And so we got in the car and he got in the back and Minister Vassal got in the front and we started driving and I gave him my red blanket, my red scarf that I have in the car and I felt his hand and he still felt cold and I said, do you want us to get you something to drink like tea or hot? And I grabbed, you know, he said, mom, no, let's go to the hospital. And so on our way to the hospital, I I, I just wanted to pray. The Lord gave me the intuition to pray. And so I brought out the prayer that was repeated last week. It was a repentance prayer, a prayer of salvation and redemption. And I said to Anthony, please repeat this prayer after me. He said, Mom, I don't know how I feel, but I just want to make sure that I'm right before the Lord. I just want to make sure that if anything happened, that I am right before the Lord. And so I started to recite that prayer. And Anthony started to repeat the prayer. And he repeated the prayer that was given to us. He repeated the prayer that the Lord has said we should say last Last week was brought forth during the service. And little did you know when we were repeating the prayer, Minister Vassal and I saw Anthony was outside. But did you know that three days later the Lord showed up and he said, We must say this prayer and glory to God. Anthony have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into his heart as his personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And when we got to the hospital, Minister Vassal, you know, they called us, we went to the emergency and they called us in and, you know, when they called us in, they said, and what have happened, they started to question Anthony and he started to tell them what has happened and his symptoms. And little did you know, the first question was they asked our son, do you feel like you want to kill yourself? And that was the question that the nurse asked. She looked at me and then she looked at Anthony and she asked him and she said, sorry that I have to ask this question, but I thank God for the victory. I thank God for the mighty deliverance. I thank God for salvation and redemption and for healing. And I know that as we were at the hospital, the angels were celebrating. The angels are rejoicing and Minister Vassal and I were just rejoicing. But as I was confronted with the nurse and the doctors, and then came the doctor again before he asked anything, what was wrong with our son? There he goes. He said, I must ask you this question. Do you feel like you? in yourself and Anthony says no and I thank God for the victory hallelujah <laughs> that God I says you know Jesus wants us to ask the people are you saved yeah. but when you go for help naturally to the medical doctor they're asking you do you feel like you want to kill yourself but today I want to thank God for the victory because he is risen today he is alive and well and he is seated at the right hand of the father and he has given us another chance and that's why we give him glory this is why we give him praise this is why we celebrate him and this is why we magnify his name because he lives we can face tomorrow before because he lives we can say it is well glory to god did you want it to add anything minister vasa Hallelujah. The only addition I can do is to sing songs of praise. Yeah. I love to see spiritual warfare. I love not to become fearful when the enemy attacks us. I learn to keep quiet and watch us see 
Oh, the Lord would work, and He certainly has worked, and I'm so glad. I'm a part of the victory, to God be the glory, and I don't have yeah. much more to say. My wife has made it so plain and so clear, she's a good yes, memory. Amen. But God is good. Amen, amen, amen. That's why we're going to service, we're going to come before you on this Sunday evening. We have testimonies. We live by the testimonies of the Lord Jesus Christ, so we must give yes, all the glory. All the praise, all the honor, and thank him for fighting all battles for us because there are some battles. Yes, he yes. says, You shall not fight in this battle. Allow me to fight the battle for you. So we give all the honor, all the glory. We're only subjects he used. Hallelujah. So I think the preacher wants me to read um, Genesis 26. Now go ahead and read it along scripture. But we can stop as the Lord leads. Praise the Lord. Maybe up to about verse 16 or so. Praise God. Yeah, we'll continue. Okay. Leads. Thank you. So Sam, brother, so, Genesis 26. Thank you. And there was a famine in the land. Beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, Isaac. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee. Sojourn in that land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee. I love this Lord. Yes, Lord. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries. Yes, Lord. And I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham, yes, thy Lord. father. Praise the Lord. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and give thee the, the, unto the seed, and will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Hallelujah. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, I love that, yes, Lord. and kept my charge, kept my commandments, kept my statutes and my laws. Yes, he was a grace to do the same Hallelujah. thing. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar, and the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, She is my sister. For he feared to say, She is my wife. Lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebecca, because she was fair to look upon. Hallelujah. We love this Lord. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when he had been there a long time that the Bimelech king of the Philistines looked out at a window and saw. Behold, Isaac was sporting his beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. Did you right, man? Mm -hmm. And the Bimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a shortage, she's thy wife. And how saidest thou she's my sister? Uh, and Isaac said unto him, Because I said, lest I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is this thou hast done unto us? One of the people might have lightly have lain with thy wife, and thou shouldest have brought guiltiness upon us, fear of God. Mm -hmm. And Abimelech charged all the people, saying, he that toucheth this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an ungrateful Jesus. And the Lord blessed him. Jesus. And the man watched and the man watched great and went forward and grew unto me became uh, very great. For he had a position of flocks and position of herds and great store of servants and the Philistines envied him. Go further. No, we can stop there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here ending God all the words we honor it by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning now and forever shall be word without end. Amen and amen. amen. Glory to God. Oh my chair back. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Minister Massa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, sir, for reading. I thank God for 
your obedience and I thank God for your faithfulness. Praise God. As you know, um, it is a good scripture and we will continue as the Lord's will. But this is what the Lord has put in our heart to bring forth to you today and to the nation. Glory to God. Praise God. And so Minister Vassal had just read Genesis 26 from verse 1 to 16. And we will go as the Lord's will. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so it says here that Isaac he sojourns in Gear. I'm going to say it a little more. Gear, land of the Philistines, because of my accent, I can't say it as Minister Vassal, but you know what it is, Gear. And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gear, as in Genesis 26, verse 1. And let's go. It says, According to Paul's letter to the Galatians, Sarah is the mother of us all. And Sarah, she represents the new covenant in Christ's blood, as in Galatians 4, verse 23 to 27. And Isaac, he represents the Christians or believers in the age of grace, as in Galatians 4, verse 21 to 22. We're going on a journey mm -hmm. and 28. And Agar represent the people under the law as the Mosaic covenant, which are not in the story. But the account of the life of Isaac in Genesis 26 takes place after Sarah has died, as in Genesis 23, and after Abraham has died in Genesis 25. And so these are his parents, praise God, and so the death of Sarah in the book of Genesis is prophetic of the last days of the church in the age of grace. Amen. After the death of Sarah, Isaac is portrayed as losing his faith. And so Abraham, this is the identity of Isaac. Abraham named his son Isaac, which means he laughs. And Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, mighty God. And everyone who hears will laugh with me, as in Genesis 21, verse 3 to 6. Thank you, man of God. This is not how it turned out, but people laughed at Isaac, which Ishmael mocked him in Genesis 21, verse 9. And Ishmael, if you know Ishmael, that's his brother from another, the bound woman, as Agar, who was the bound woman in Genesis and so why? To people who knew Isaac, he was a simpleton, a fool or a clueless person who was easily led astray. And so Isaac was the man who was tricked by his younger son Jacob with his mothers, encouraging into blessing the younger son instead of the older son. So Isaac was easily fooled and people will know it. And so we are going somewhere. Please bear with me as we are journeying along together. And so Isaac is a prophetic type of Christian, as we said. Isaac is the promised child of the promise, the one who is saved by grace in Galatians chapter 4. And most believers have been saved out of Gentile peoples in lands far from the Middle East. And so the Gentile cultures have been confused about the nature of God and his dealings for thousands of years. And so it is therefore not surprising that most born again believers are infants in terms of spiritual understanding. Paul said, I address you as mere infants in Christ, as in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 1. And so yet Paul also said, we are fools for Christ, 1 Corinthians 4, verse 10. And Paul knew Isaac is our spiritual identity. Wow. Paul reveals another sense in which the foolishness of Isaac portrays the believers or the Christians to the world. Our faith in the Messiah is a vain hope. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those 
who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God, as in 1 Corinthians verse 1 to 18. Mighty God, a child of God, a fool for Christ, in the last days of the age of grace, Isaac lives down to his name, not up to it. But believers lose their way and behave more foolishly than can be imagined. After Abraham and Sarah die, the foolishness of Isaac is exposed like a bare naked man who think he has closed mighty God, as in Revelation 3 verse 17. Unlike his father Abraham, scripture record Isaac won no military victories, but he consistently retreated before his enemies. Even when he was in a position of great strength, he capitulated and sued for peace, but surrendering all that is precious in the faith. Even though the spiritual defeat of Isaac is portrayed in Genesis 26, let's read her. We ought to keep in mind that the truth that God has won the victory at Calvary. Amen. And so it is so. He has won the victory at Calvary for us, mighty God. Amen. And so Genesis 26, it predicts that the saints will not keep the faith in the last days, we will mess up in a grand fashion, but our salvation is secure and we will laugh last. But when the Lord brought back captives, the resurrected saints to Zion, which is heaven, we were like men who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter like Isaac and our tongues with songs of joys. As in Psalms 126, verse 1 to 2. And Isaac was born in the promised land, but he grew up immersed in a culture that was saturated with the Canaanites' belief. Mighty God, praise God, and we're going somewhere. Glory to God. And so, Minister Vassal, you can give me a drink of water, please. And so, there was a famine in the land. As I come upon famine, I'm thinking of water. Glory to God. And so there was a famine in the land. Now there was a famine in the land. And Isaac went to Amalek, king of the Philistine, in Gear. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And in a nutshell, here is a whole story. Will Isaac preserve his historic faith? dwelling in the land of God promised to Abraham and be a sojourner aboard? Or will Isaac settle in the land of the Philistines? I will ask this question, which signifies adopting their beliefs and ways which are an abomination to God. It should give us pause to know that Isaac did not choose to migrate to GR, but he was forced to go there by a famine. This suggests that God has his hand in the events which lead up to the end of the age of grace. Isaac in the unfortunate participant in a mass migration to brought about climate change. Just, I'm getting somewhere. Today we are seeing all kind of people moving, a mass of millions of people and groups of people are moving because of global warming and because of the conflict that is happening in their countries, glory to God. But it ought not to surprise us that we are living in the last days of the age of grace. And so the word of God is full of keen insights, even in the most details. And so we are going to go right into the message. And so here, God came to Amalek in a dream and said, you are as good as dead. 
as in Genesis 20, verse 3. And the Philistines, they fear God. The original Amalek of the earlier time feared God and honored Abraham. If Isaac is the prophetic type of Christians, then Abraham must be the prophetic type of Jesus and the author of our faith. We're getting somewhere. And the Philistine, they resides or they are the residents of Palestine who repented in the days of Abraham, which was the time of Jesus, were truly saved. They heard the voice of God in their hearts and they repented. These were the first Jews to trust in Jesus. In Genesis 26, the Philistines is the time of Isaac, our prophetic type of the physical descendants of the early believers. They carry the name, but they do not carry on the faith of their forefathers. My God, my God. We're getting somewhere, man of God. Amen. We are getting somewhere, and then I'm going to have you to do something. Praise be to God for the victory. Glory, hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. And so God is telling Isaac is to hang around the outskirts of the land of the Philistines during the famine. He said to hang around during the famine, to make himself scarce. So when God said to hang around or to sojourn, he's not telling us to go and dwell and to live and to move in and to occupy and to stay dear. God said sojourn. And when he said sojourn, he's going to say to stay for a while, just for temporarily, not forever or for a long time. But we're going to get into there. Here it said, God is telling Isaac is to hang around the outskirt of the land of the Philistines during the famine. So to make himself scarce or hard to find like a traveler who is just passing through a sojourner. When Jesus arrived in Palestine, the Philistines of the, his day were the remnant of the Jews who returned by faith from the exile to Babylon. And so they were the local people who were the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they did not walk in the fear of the Lord anymore. And so did you ever notice how Jesus made himself scarce? I'm going to explain to you. There were no houses in the Holy Land that boast that Jesus slept there or here. Why? Because Jesus was a sojourner in the land. He slept outdoors most of the time. He lived on the outskirts of the towns and there was an occasional visit to his close friend in Bethany to Mary and Martha and Lazarus, but occasionally, right? But Jesus, he owned no livestock or possessions or land or homes. When Jesus needed a donkey, he would borrow one, right? Mm -hmm. So foxes have holes and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Jesus said, Jesus sojourns, and Jesus wasn't a coward. He was wise and obedient. The Holy Spirit in him directed him to keep away from the houses of the outwardly, religiously, but inwardly unbelieving Jews. But Isaac was wise in his own eyes. In his own eyes. Sometimes we can think we're wise in our own eyes. But Isaac, he disobeyed. He disobeyed the instruction of the Lord and fell into a trap. And so the scripture, or the scriptures, excuse me, Isaac dwelt in Gedar in Genesis 26, verse 5. And the Hebrew word Gedar is spelled in the word is exiled to Babylon. It means exiled to Babylon. Spiritually, Gedar represents the place where saying sojourn, mighty God, in a land that has two heads, as in Amalek, the official king of the land, and Jehovah, the king of the universe, who rules in the hearts of his believers by faith, mighty God. From Isaac's perspective, dwelling in the land 
of the Philistines was like being banished to Babylon. However, in Genesis 26, 5, mighty God, that it says GR changes into the context means pioneer of the faith. Praise the Lord. And so we're going to go somewhere with that. Praise God. And so God's intention for Isaac is that he be a pioneer of the faith, that he plants seeds of faith in Jehovah in the hearts of the local Philistines. God desired those Philistines to come into the house of the camel, so to speak. God's wish to transform the Philistines into sojourner like Isaac. And so how this will happen? The meaning of five is the life or grace. It means the life or grace. And as you know, we're talking about faith, praise God, will enter into the family of believers by grace through faith. The gospel message, it did not begin with the Christian so-called, but the offer of salvation to all nations to believe in Jehovah by faith is the same message first believed by Abraham who heard the call of the spirit in his heart. It says, leave your country, your people, and your father's house in your father's household and go to the land I will show thee. Hallelujah, as in Genesis 12, verse 1. Let's see. Who will win the spiritual battle? Will the local Philistine accept the invisible, all-powerful Jehovah as Lord? I'm going to ask, or will Isaac humiliate heaven and cozy up to the visible, pretty ruler Amalek as Lord, my God? And Isaac, he claims not to have a wife. And the men of the palace asked of his wife, and he said, my sister, for he feared to say, my wife, lest he thought the men of the place should kill him or kill me. For Rebecca was feared to look upon, as Minister Vassal just read, Genesis 26, verse 7. And Isaac did not believe the Philistines despise a man for having a wife or despise a man for having a lovely wife. But what Isaac feared was that Philistines despise a foreigner with a lovely wife. And he believed with enough incentive that to an attractive woman, the Philistines would trample the right of sojourners. Man of God, can you sing a song for us? Thank you. I stand I'm sorry. amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me as sinner condemned unclean oh glory home how marvelous just about how wonderful and then that my son shall ever be oh glory home how marvelous and just about how wonderful is my Savior's love for me, for me it was in the garden. He prayed not my will, but thine. He had no tears for his own griefs, but sweat drops of blood for mine. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous, just about how wonderful, and then that my song shall ever be. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous, just about how wonderful is my Savior's Here's love for me. Wow, indeed. Angels beheld him and came from the world of light to 
the strength in him in the souls he bore for my soul that night. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous and just about all wonderful and then that my song shall ever be. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous and just about how wonderful is my Savior, dearest love for me. Jesus took our sins and our sorrows. He made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary. Where he suffered and he died near alone. Oh, glory, oh, how oh, marvelous, just about how oh, wonderful. And my song shall ever be hallelujah. Oh, how oh, glorious and just about how oh, marvelous is my Savior's love. For me, when with the ransom in glory, his face I at last shall see, will be my joy through the ages to sing of his love for you and I. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous and just about a wonderful end. My song shall ever be, oh, glory, oh, how marvelous and just about a wonderful is my saying. There's love for us. Oh, brethren, oh, how marvelous, just about how wonderful and my song shall ever be. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous, just about how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous, just about how wonderful my song shall ever be. Oh, glory, oh, how marvelous, just about how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Praise the Lord. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And so as I continue, praise God. Please excuse us as Minister Vassal is doing some tasks. And so praise God. It said, as we have appointed out, praise God. It says, Sarah is a type of new covenant. And Agar, praise God, is a type of the Mosaic covenant. And therefore, the fear of Isaac to confess, praise God, praise the Lord. And so therefore, the fear of Isaac to confess Rebecca, his wife, points to a man who would not confess his belief, his holy vow, his faith, praise God. There's another one plugged in, just use the other one. Praise, many of us are, there's a, a, a block plugged in, okay? And so, therefore, the fear of Isaac to confess Rebecca, his wife, points to a man who would not confess his belief, his holy vow, and his faith. Spiritually, Isaac was a devoted to Jehovah as any married man would be to be his wife. And believers on earth are to be witnesses of the true faith by which men might be saved. Glory to God. That when God commanded Isaac to sojourn, he didn't intend for Isaac 
to disappear from view, but he intended for Isaac to stick out, literally to dwell on the outskirt. He intended Isaac to sow seeds of faith in the hearts of the Philistine. It's okay. And so praise God, the Philistine to be a pioneer of the faith in Gear and to call others to the life of the sojourner. Thank you, my God. And Isaac did the opposite. In fear of the Philistine, he climbed up, and guess what? He blended into the Philistine society. So many of the believers are trying to blend in with the world. They're trying to blend in with the church, or they're trying to blend in with the things that is not of God. And God forbid, that is an abomination. For the Lord says, Isaac was called to walk differently, he was called to talk a different talk, and Isaac failed. He wanted to fit in and be accepted in society. At any cost, he wanted Philistines not to dislike him. And so in contrast, mighty God, Jesus is described in scripture, praise God, and guess what? A despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering, as in Isaiah 53, 5. I'm going to say that again. In contrast, Jesus is described in scripture as despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Praise God, Isaiah 53, 5. And it says that Jesus walked boldly into the center of, of the Jewish faith and life and the synagogue and proclaim himself to be the Messiah. My God, let's hear. And so his own people were prepared to throw him off a cliff for this testimony. And so Jesus was not afraid of death because he knew his life was in the Father's hands. The sorrow of social rejection cut his heart deeply but he always made the good confession. And so we're getting somewhere. And it came to pass when he had been there a long time that Amalek, king of the Philistine, looked out a window and saw and the old Isaac was laughing with Rebekah, his wife. And Amalek called Isaac and said, mm -hmm. Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife. How can you say she is my sister? And Isaac said to him, Because I said to my son, lest I die for her. And Amalek said, What is this you have done unto us? One of the people might likely have lied with your wife, and you should have brought guiltiness upon us. And Amalek charged all his people, my God, saying, He that touches this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. And Genesis 26, 8 to 11, Isaac might have had a different language, a culture, and a religion, but he gained social status. Do you have anything to say, man of God? We're getting there. Mm -hmm. As I read the scripture earlier, I noted how the Lord directed Isaac. Yes, All Lord. through the scriptures, the biblical examples the Lord used who were willing to obey him out he chose, he gave us direction or gave them direction. Mm -hmm. It is a big responsibility for us to take off the same nature of obedience or the nature of obedience to the Lord when he chose us and sends us. Now God does not send the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't send those whom he only called. He has to prove them, try them and prove them, and sends them out. Oh and the Bible says the scriptures of the Old Testament, the patriarchs, the prophets, and all the biblical examples in the Old Testament, they were our examples. Yes, Lord. But the more perfect than them has come. Amen, amen. And really has given his life for us. In those days, they killed the animals and birds, a prototype of the Lord Jesus Christ. But now he has come, he's finished the job. He went to the Father, he sent the Holy Ghost to live in us. So the examples that they set when they didn't walk right before the Lord, the church is not supposed to be guilty of those 
wrongful examples. The Lord only used them to show how we can go off. That's one reason why they had to go to hell before the Lord died for our sins, because he had to go there and preach and loose them. We are not expected to sin as they sin, because no sin shall enter there. We are not expected to sin when the Holy Ghost is filling us and empower us until some of us sin to blaspheming. It's a hard thing to sin. And I can speak this way because we are in the same position as Isaac right now. We're sent on a commission and we have tests and trials. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting a bit more experience from my wife than my wife had been through things like this before. I've had my failures and my victories. And so when I look at her behavior, she's become a living example to me. And I thank God for that. That's why it's good to wait on the Lord for anything or anyone he promises us, even if it takes 10, 20 years, he's always on time. So I just want to hand, I want to speak humbly and lovingly. I want to speak very humbly to us. We will be tested, we are being tested and tried, brethren, as ordinary things. When we are set like Isaac heard this thing about, we also are tested and tried. We must not fail. We have the Holy Ghost to lead us. That's why I recognize the prophetess's manifestation earlier when I said not much about it. Hallelujah. Because we must be able to recognize the Holy Ghost. When he, tar when he tarries, we tarry. Amen. When he moves, he moves. Amen. When the cloud and the pillar of cloud, the pillar of fire, and I stopped before the days during 40 years with the Jews, they stopped because he Moses was leading them and he knew the leading of God. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that God has provided us a possible day that he can or can stop testifying about this man. Yeah. He's a man. Yeah. He has natural affection like you and I. Yeah. But he learns to follow the Holy Ghost and hence he can teach our experiential anointings. So I don't want to pick up the message, it's not my time. Hallelujah. But it's, ex it's exciting. Amen. And so we ought not to fail like Isaac, brethren. Praise God. And do not miss in speaking to them around the throne. Hallelujah. We must say, when the test comes, stand. We are standing and we are experiencing God's wonders. We have visions and revelations we don't even understand. We are praying for revelation. Hallelujah. We don't have a perfect revealer or a, a one that interprets dreams, the interpret dreams for us. But if Lord has appeared many times and He spoke many times to us because we are standing on the rock of ages. We're free from all the storms that rages saints in a rich. Amen. But not from Satan's wages. Standing on the solid rock. Brethren, the church is standing on Jesus of all ages. And we are free from all the storms that rages. We are rich, rich, rich. But not from Satan's wages. Standing on the solid rock. God bless you, Lord of God. God bless you. God bless thank you, you Sister Vassa. Thank you. <laughs> and so we thank God for Minister Vassa in putting and thank God for his obedience and our commitment together. And so here we said, according to the account of scripture or in scripture, he lived next door to the palace of the king of the Philistines. And so the progress of Isaac up the social ladder was not instant because it says that this occurred only after he had been there a long time. But the four things we know for sure that Isaac lived in a house in town. And so Isaac's home was next door to the palace of the king. And Amalek and Isaac were well enough socially acquainted that Amalek talked to him on a first name basis. And once Amalek became aware of Isaac's concern for his safety, he issued a royal proclamation to assure him of that safety. And so Amalek puts Isaac to shame. And so the Philistine sanctifies the marriage vow as holy and Isaac is prepared to allow his wife to be touched to save his skin. And so the Philistine proclaimed legal protection to the strangers in the gate. Isaac publicly 
proclaims he does not trust the Lord, his God, to protect him on his journey. My God, my God. And so Jesus said, only in his hometown and in his own house is a prophet without honor, as in Matthew 13, verse 57. Isaac made the land of the Philistine his home, and in so doing, ceased to be a witness for God in it. How much is this like the church in the last days here in Canada, in America, and all over the world, in the Caribbean, and in Jamaica? Christians and believers are just the same as non-believers. My God, only more successful. The believers own homes and cars, and the believers have political influence. Jesus knew better. The only one he strove to impress was his heavenly father. He owned no house, and he owned no donkey. The first time Pilate met him was on the day of his trial. Jesus, before Pilate, Amalek is dead. The town of Jr. can't be found on a map. Why? Because strive for earthly things. This earth is not our home. Amen. We are strangers and aliens here. Why we want to be friends with the king of the land when we are on a first name basis with the king of the universe, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. Praise God. And so here we are giving God glory. Most of us are like Isaac. We are like the skin we are in. We don't want to make conflict. If we can avoid it, or we need to ask ourselves this question, why would a life on the outskirts of society be better for me? God is love. He has out interest. He has our interests and heart. And so the logic of his kingdom is short-term plan. My God, our short-term pain, but long-term gain. And so the way of Isaac led to public humiliation. Mighty God. So I am sitting on my chair here. I don't want to come off because many of us want to gain social status, but it is not so. <coughs> Excuse me. Many of us want to gain social status, but it is not so. Not. That the logic of his kingdom is short-term pain, long-term gain. The, uh, the way of Isaac led to public humiliation. Isaac sought social success and he gained notoriety. So the way of Jesus looks harsh, right? Make yourself socially scarce. Yet today, the name of Jesus is mentioned with honor and reverence on the lips of hundreds of millions of people. And his name is more popular and he is more loved than any earthly king that has ever lived. But the story has only half been told. Isaac sought earthly reward but became a shallow human being. Amen, amen, amen. In the solitude of his sojourning existence, Jesus gained every spiritual blessing. And Jesus was rich in the knowledge of God. Jesus was full of the joy of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And Jesus received an eternal blessing that will not be fully comprehended so even fully comprehend. in eternity. Mm -hmm. For this is the life God offers Hallelujah. those who follow him. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. We are getting there. Men of God, can you go ahead, sir, as I have here for you to say God bless you, okay. sir. Thank you. Thank you Hallelujah. I was on this long song before, but it's a beautiful song and it's good for this message. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Through my disappointment, strife and discontentment, I cast my every care upon the Lord. No matter what obsession, pain, or deep depression, I'm standing on the solid road. You know I'm standing on the rock of ages saved. From every storm that rages, rich. 
What not from Satan's wages, standing on the solid road. Now I'm pressing onward, each step leads me forward. I'm trusting in my Savior day by day. And close in his relation, firm is its foundation. So on the solid rock, I will stand. Well, let's sing this again. Through my disappointments, strife and discontentment, I cast my every care upon the Lord. No matter what obsession, pain or deep depression, I'm standing on the solid road. Brethren, we are standing on the rock of ages. We are saved from every storm that rages. We are rich. But not from Satan's wages, standing on the solid rock. Now we are pressing onward, each step leads us homeward. We are trusting in our Savior day by day by day by day. And close is our relation, firm in its foundation. So on the solid rock, we will stay. It's part of the message. Now I'm pressing on. Are you pressing, brothers and sisters? Each step leads me forward. I'm trusting in my Savior day by day by day by day. And close is our relation. Firm is its foundation. So on the solid rock. I will sit until Jesus comes. You know where? Stand beyond the rock of ages we are free. But not from Satan's wages we are rich. But not from Satan's wages standing on the solid rock. The church is supposed to be standing on the rock who is Jesus. We are saved. From every storm that rages, we are rich. But not from Satan's wages, standing on the solid rock. Since we are standing on the God, Lord Christ Jesus, who cannot move. Our lives are hidden in Christ, in God, hallelujah. Since we are standing on the solid Rock of all ages, brothers and sisters. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, man of God. Glory, glory, glory. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so here we said, Isaac sowed in that line and received that same year a hundredfold increase. And the Lord blessed him. The man waxed great and progressed continually and gain until he became very great rich. For he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and of servants many. Moreover, the Philistines envied him, as in Genesis 26, verse 12 to 14. And so Amalek promised protection for Isaac, and Isaac, don't cut your head off, remember to get yourself in it. And so Amalek promised protection for Isaac. Isaac is now ready, my God, he's now ready to put down roots. He planted, praise God, and so the Lord blessed his harvest. The spiritual battle God intended has now gone completely off track. And so gear means camel and two kings. Isaac was meant to be the camel, the sojourner, and the gospel a witness of Isaac was to call Philistines to choose between two kings following Amalek and following Jehovah. This has become perverted. Isaac has ceased to be the camel and Isaac has put down roots and attained greatness in the eyes of the locals. Vying with Amalek, Isaac is now the second king. 
Where is Isaac's camel? He traded it for a bushel of corn so he could set down roots. Isn't this is what we see in the land of the Philistine today called the church? In the landscape in the last days, my God, in the last days that the religious churches will compete in the marketplace of faith for the loyalty of believers, my God. And so it is a vain battle. Amen. None of the religious institutions that have put down roots in this world uphold a testimony of Jehovah. None can speak for God and they speak for their religion. Many of us will say, which religion are you from? Or when we tell them we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, I said, I am not a part of a religion. I'm not a denomination. I believe in the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ as my savior, that he has died and he is risen and he is at the right hand of the father, mighty God. In his death, his burial and his resurrection, mighty God, but I do not belong to a denomination. It's not about Luther or Pentecost or Baptist, my God, and so on and so on. But you know what I'm talking about. It is about the Lord Jesus Christ, the new covenant, glory to God. But here it says believers that they get caught in these warring camps. They're wasting their efforts because it does not glorify God. It does not glorify Jesus. And Isaac versus Amalek in the first chapter of the first letter, Paul to the infants in Christ, the new believers in Corinth, he warns them against schisms in the faith, that this most basic tenet of our faith is lost in the last days. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another so that there be no divisions among you and that you may be perfectly united Amen. in mind and thought. Amen. One of you says, I follow Paul, which Isaac. Another, I follow Apollos, Amalek. Or is Christ divided? Were you baptized in the name of Paul? I ask this question. Paul asks in 1 Corinthians 1, verse 10 to 17, and Isaac moves out of town. All the wells which the servants of his father had dug in the last days of Abraham, his father, the Philistine filled up with earth. And Amalek said to Isaac, go from us. You are mightier than us greatly. Uh -huh. Do you have anything to hide, man of God? <coughs> it's just amazing how the Lord works because the father had covenant with Abraham, Isaac's father, and God keeps his covenant for a thousand generations. And as we listen to the scripture, he spent about 20 years in the area before he sowed in famine and got one hundred fold. I had a cousin, I have a cousin who sold tomato plants, and she did that for five times before she got an harvest that multiplied above one. Harvest. God gave her reward for all the years that she lost her harvest because of cold. God is faithful bread. Hallelujah. He cannot lie. That's why it's good to study the word of God. It is impossible for God to lie. I thank God for my spiritual mother who taught me. Put his word back before his face, especially when he gives you a ring of word. If he wants to take, teach you something as he will, I've heard in the past many times, not to link him out more understanding. The Lord said, you don't know him about Solomon. I think he didn't say for everybody, but he manifested that. He said, what you know is not for you at this moment, but I have more to reveal to you, you know? So what we stand in the word, we know. And when the Lord wants to reveal more, he reveals it. But we got understanding. Hallelujah. We try to run. And when the Lord posts you somewhere, High water and hell, somebody say, would come and will come. But once the Lord posts to you, you are yes, safe Lord. in this yes, pavilion. Lord. Yes, Lord. Once the Lord posts you or sends you, you have divine, comprehensive favor and yes. relationship with the Holy Ghost and with Jesus and with Father. And that's why I like Apostle David E. Taylor. He's not a perfect man. But I like a man or woman of God who seeks 
God until they got yes, a personal relationship with him. And every one of us have that opportunity. So the Bible is saying, don't follow the spirit of Isaac and his witnesses. And we can't let them Because you know what hell they went through in their situations. And they at least he went to obey the Lord, even if it is of his obedience, you know. And because of that, God had to bless him. Yes. One hundred fold in famine. Amen. The God of yesterday cannot change. Yes, he is faithful. If he tells you to run and you're old, he will give the Paul like he gave the ladder to run. Yes, if he tells you to sit, sit down, yes. cross it, and lean back, relax. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord because he cannot lie. Place his word back before him. Every rumor word, rumor word he gives you, put it back before him. Every word you know, tell him about it. And don't be like Isaac to depend on the politicians. So I have a testimony where I could go to one politician who was a member of my church up to a certain point. And the Lord told me, he showed me a vision that I went to him to ask him to give me a letter to a bank to get someone to borrow the bank car to do my business. He said he wouldn't honor it. I drove four cars until they blocked up. <laughs> That's my point. I drove cars up to the me on the road in the first place <laughs> until they stopped working. And God sent someone, a dear brother, who doesn't give up this time until now, confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But I've seen his angel, and now he's saved, and now he'll be saved. Hallelujah. And the Lord sent him to tell me, I hear you're not doing well. Now we're dangerous, never you know. At the same time, trying to be caught, doing a ministry mm -hmm. in a country area. <laughs> but to cut the story short, my brother said something to me, he heard I'm not doing good. And to go and look for a car. And at that point of my life, I was resting, really resting in the morning on a very old car. Mm -hmm. I've shared this story before. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then he took gone before a car and I went to Kingston to buy a part, an old part for the old car, because that person that sells these things in Jamaica. They go to England and buy those cars, drop them, bring them. The parts are good and sell them to us so to, to apply to our old vehicle. And when I went to buy that, that, that last parts for that car that was really old, I saw a, it's a, it's a, it's a Chris car, an antique car, a car nearly about the same age of that car, about the gentleman pulled the car down, made it totally new, with no engine, no everything. And I asked, there was no for sale sign on it. I'm just testifying, I'm just trying to encourage somebody. And I asked him when I went to buy the price, this car for sale, he says, yes. I bought, I made it brand new. And I picked up for my son for his wedding present. He's gone to Texas to do a uh, on the moon. Yeah. And he's coming back in two weeks. And I know he's selling it to come up to find out. And to make the story short, that broke my brother. And I was resting with the Lord at the time. I was anxious, obeying him. Mother mm -hmm. like God. <laughs> I lost much weight in my suffering through fastings and prayers and all that, that. I was like a bone. Hallelujah. Yes. I was like skeleton. Yes. Hallelujah. And I was talked about in this city that I took my wife and children to live. Do my best to obey God. God gave my children, for my children, passes of exams. Because I was obeying God. My, one of my spiritual mother told me, don't send the Catholic school. That was the pride I had. Send them to public school. God will bless you. I sent them to public school and God gave them passes right away and changed the trajectory of my life that I could finance them through high school, including boarding. And one subject which was costing like five thousand dollars because the because the economy of Jamaica had gone down so bad. Hallelujah. Yes, and I my, in my life totally changed. So waiting upon the Lord is what I'm trying to share. Yes. Lord. Even when He promised you, He can lie. Mm -hmm. And even when things are falling apart, He has to come through. So like in Isaac's case, though Isaac might have failed certain tests, because God had a covenant with Abraham, he had to bless him. In the same sense, we are children of Abraham by faith and of Sarah. And once we stand our ground and not fail, like Isaac, God is compelled by his own word to fulfill his promise on time. Even if it seems to be dying, even if it seems to be getting older and older, even when things look bad, 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 
He always comes through Amen. on time. Amen. God bless you. We love you. God bless you, Thank sir. Thank you for being courage. And so encouraged and so we're coming down with time. Please give us 10 more minutes or so of your time. 5.43. And so here again, as we said, that, praise God, Isaac had to move out of town. My God, my God. And so he got, praise God, I believe that we, where did we stop that man of God? For the help position that were great, praise God. And so when God gives you an instruction, we got to obey. We got to Hallelujah. obey what the Lord has done and what he said for us to do. Glory to God. Because, you know, if we don't obey, then we will have shame. We will have disappointment and we will be sent back and humiliation will come up on us. And so here we're going to continue to jump ahead as we were in this here, we're going to jump ahead because time is going far. And so I want to encourage you today, praise God, that the New Testament scripture was written, my God, in the Greek. It was also the common tongue of Asia Minor and Greece in the days of the apostles. And it says, go into any church from any denomination on any continent or today in these last days. And what do you see? These, you see these great men standing behind the pulpit with a single official and the so-called minister dispensing the truth, but controlling the water that the thirsty flock come to drink. And so this was not the New Testament way. The scripture were copied and shared among every believers. And the, there were house churches, my God. There were believers, read them, my God, I'm jumping ahead. But they said, believers, read them aloud and pondered and discussed their Amen. meaning. There was a fellowship. There was a love fellowship. Amen. There was a gathering of believers in the homes, Amen. from their homes. And this was uh, so in the olden days. And so Paul taught our truth is to be dis disseminated in the New Testament church that two or three prophets should speak and the others should weigh carefully what is said. For you can all prophesy in turn so that everyone may be instructed and encouraged. And I want to get that. That's in 1 Corinthians 14, 29 to 31. And so I am encouraged by Minister Vassell's testimony that we are fellowshipping together. We're sitting together and we're fellowshipping together. And so the blessing of Isaac that, and he went up from here to Beersheba and the Lord appeared unto him at night and said, I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Do not fear for I am with you and I will bless you Amen. and multiply thy seed. Amen. We're jumping ahead, remember? For the, for the sake of Abraham, my servant, and he built there an altar and called upon the name of the Amen. Lord and pitched his tent and his servant dug a well and called it Isaac's well. Amen. As in Genesis 26, verse 23 to 25, we're jumping ahead. And so, yes, the Lord appeared to Isaac after he was, he was, he was sent out of that country and that place. And now Isaac was visited again by the Lord. And he said, yes, the Lord appeared to Isaac. And yes, the Lord blessed Isaac. But it was a sad day. Indeed, it was kind of a sad because he says, you totally disobeyed my instruction. My God, fear not. I will still bless Amen. you. Amen. He says, not because your ways are right before my yes. eyes, but because I will honor my promise yes. to Abraham. Yes who was faithful before me, God called Isaac to sojourn. Amen. He directly disobeyed and plunged headlong into a vain competition with Amalek for a position of standing in the community. Amen. In the process, he turned the land of the Philistines into a, a disgraceful war zone of competing religious factions. And so the final humiliation was when the servants of Isaac dug a well and called it Isaac's well. It reflected the pretitious heart of Isaac that he must have the honor in the eyes of men. Amen. But guess what? This was not the lowly attitude 
of a sojourner living on the outskirts is striving against the Holy Spirit practically wreck the community of faith. And so it will be in the last days of the age of grace that the church will depart from the faith. There will be great congregation of people going to the local well or the church building. My God, there will be patrons of the wells, ecclesiastical officials, we call them, who will exalt in all the socializing going on and who will get FOMOS or who will become fame or rich by doing it. But they will even name their wells after themselves. Example, the Lutherans after Luther. Can God bless any of this gross corruption of the gospel, may I ask? No. Will God bless the believers? Hallelujah. Yes. Many saints will be brought to shame when they come to meet the Lord in heaven. When they come before the bima, the throne in the clouds, then their works will be revealed Amen. for the reward or the lack thereof. Amen. My God, yes, they will get into heaven and God will honor his promise, Amen. but the day will be tinged with more than a little sadness Amen. that they had a chance to glorify Christ on earth but instead they glorify themselves and behave like the philistines not like god's the call out ones but he will wipe away every tear from yes, your eye you. and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain as in revelation 21 verse 4. how are we doing minister Basil? we're coming down take your time because they said god's that word. god has called my God, Jesus says, let your yes be yes, or your no be no. Anything, my God, from the evil one we are to reject. By entering into a covenant with Amalek, Isaac sealed his loss of faith and endured there was no way for him to ever serve God again. My God, my God. So many of us are taking oath and, you know, we are not taking the right stand before the Lord, and God forbid. But I want to let you know that God is here today and he wants us to pray. Mm -hmm. As I pray this prayer, the Lord is going to restore us back to Amen. him. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord and say, thank you, God, that you make all things new. Thank you for the victory and the power in your name. Thank you that you hold the keys over death, that you, by your might, Jesus was raised from the grave, paving the way for us to have new life with you. Thank you that you had planned, that you made a way. We praise you for your great strength. We praise you for your lavish love. We praise you that you are conqueror, victor, redeemer, and friend. And we praise you that you are our deliverer, worthy one, everlasting father, great and awesome God. We confess our need for you, fresh, new again. We ask that you renew our hearts, Amen. minds, and lives for the days ahead. We pray for your refreshing over us. Keep your words of truth planted firm within us. Help us to keep focus on what is pure and right. Give us the power to be obedient to your word, O oh God. And when the enemy remind us where we have been, hissing in our ears and attacking our ways, we trust your voice. Amen. Speak louder and stronger, reminding us we are safe with you and that your purpose and plans will not fail. We ask that you will be our defense and our wear guard, keeping our way clear, removing every distraction and every obstacles, and covering the pitfalls. Lord, lead us and your level ground. Shine your light in us, through us. Make, may we make difference in this world for your glory and purposes. Set your way before us, and may all your plans succeed. We may reflect your peace and hope to a world that is so desperately needs your presence and your healing. Thanks be to you, God, for your indescribable gift. Amen. To you be glory and honor Amen. on this resurrection day Amen. and forever in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is our individual prayer. 
Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I admit I have sinned. I admit that I have sinned against you. Against you. I confess that Jesus died. I confess that Jesus the Christ died. Just for me. Just for me. To be saved. To be saved. And I received him. And I received him. Into my life. Into my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Grant me a heart. Grant me a heart. Of repentance. Of true repentance. From my sin. Of my sin. Transgressions. All of my transgressions. Iniquities. Iniquities. Guile. And guile. Secret errors. Every secret error. Secret faults. Every secret fault. Fears. Every fear that I have. Disobedience. Had, every disobedience. Rebellion. Every rebellion. Lord, Lord, I trust you. I personally trust you. Abba Father, Abba Father, the same way you send, the same way you send, send, provide, provide, and protected, and protected. Isaac, Isaac, in the midst of famine, in the midst of famine, protect me, please protect me, and my family now, and my family love. Father, Father, where I am. Where, I am, where my family is, where my family is, where my work is, where my work is, where my job is, where my job is, where my business is, where my business is, where my ministry is, where my ministry is, you will find us, you will find us, and increase us, and increase us. I command, I command every closed door, every closed door, for my life, of my life, and destiny, and destiny, open now, we open now, Lord, Lord, let my life, let my life be clear. Declare your glory, your glory, your blessings, your blessings. My salvation, my permanent salvation is preserved, is preserved by the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, in Christ. the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. From this day forward, From this day forward, guide my life, please guide my life. Help me, please help me, and direct me, and please direct me victoriously, victoriously, triumphantly, triumphantly. I pray this, I pray this in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And man of God, we can do a corporate. God bless you, sir. Loving Shepherd, we are celebrating this sacred season when, according to records that we know or we've heard, you paid the ultimate sacrifice for our sins and you triumphantly rose yes, from the dead a victor. Hallelujah. Lord, death could not hold you captive. So because of that reason, we can trust you to do for us the exceeding abundant things yes, you need to do to see us through as you, by your grace, afford us the strength to walk into the gates of your word. And if we fail, when we fail, you are the true redeemer. Yes, You're the true reconciler. You're the one who draws us back to you. You're the one who will leave the 99 and seek for us and pick us up and put us on your shoulder yes, and bring us back to the fold, forgiving us of our sins. Hallelujah. But when the Pharisee brought that woman to you that was caught, caught in the act of adultery, yes, and you sat down or you knelt down or you stood down and you wrote on the ground yes. apparently of their sins. My God. And then you asked them if they had no sin. Then he passed his point on her. Mm. And every one of these Pharisaic so-called brethren disappeared. They asked the lady, where are your accusers? You said, she said, I have not Lord. And we want to be like you. We want to be forgiving. Hallelujah. want to be loving. But we also want to know that you're very, very forgiving. Hallelujah. You know that we are weak at times and that we fail. Mm -hmm. But I pray, God, that you cleanse us and fill us with the Holy Ghost. I like the old time church teaching that the Holy Ghost is powerful service. So we didn't know the word like we know the word now. Hallelujah. But once we got saved, they always encourage us to get filled and door baptized with the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says the Holy Ghost and the Word is one. So what we don't know from the Word, the Holy Ghost manifests through us, even by context and by Proverbs of the same countries or cultures we're from. Yes. Father, you're so just and so yes. condescending. Yes, Lord. You're Jesus. not willing that any should perish. That's the bottom line. Hallelujah. But that all should come to repentance. Paul said, yes. 
It's your will that all men be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, you pay the ultimate sacrifice today. You're reigning there in the throne room of Father God Jesus. And we can depend on you. We pray that you cover this ministry, cover the word. Cover the word, cover the word. Hallelujah, my God, with your darkness in the hearts of those who are here, Father. In due time, cause the word to take roots down for work. Cause the word to germinate. Cause the word to bear fruits upward because we are supposed to be fruit bearers. Trees of righteousness, the Lord be glorified. Father, we pray a blessing, your strength, your courage. Your courage. Your courage of confidence, each other. Father, when you sent me first on training, oh God, I wasn't even I wasn't even ready. I just went up there immediately. You you always give me word of courage, the encouragement to give to Joshua and all those men. You give me many a series of word of courage. Give uh, this dear lady all the courage she needs. Give her all the grace she needs and the strength she needs, Father. Help her not to fear for you who are starting a good work in her. We see her through to the very end, victoriously and triumphantly. And it's not good for anyone who puts their hand to the plow to turn back anywhere. She's not of that nature, Lord. Hallelujah. She said once when she was sick, she's not my baby sitting in a flu. Glory to God. She's a warrior, Father. I pray to me you cover her mind, the background of her mind with the blood, cover her soul. Cover her soul, cover her body, cover all that pertains unto her life and God. Just cover her going and her coming. Coming and cover her sleeping and her waking, Father. And let your angel be drawn, so be there for her and all the prophets of angels she will need, O oh God. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn through her as usual and around her, Lord God. Let the word of God be there to fight for her in the name of Jesus Christ. And everyone who is out there ministering and is called to minister and is, and is obedient to your call and is moving towards your call, give them that divine comprehensive coming that they give to your people who are faithful. And even those who are not faithful, because Lord, you're faithful. You can't deny yourself. You can't be even a way that causes us to believe that you're not there. It's a loving time, it's a precious time, it's a resurrection celebration, it's a Passover time, it's a wonderful time we love for this. And Father, I thank you for my personal life, Lord. I've asked you to bring me into the Jewish teaching. And I didn't see the read the word that there are feasts set apart that we should follow. And the church is redemption on the New Testament didn't change those things. So I thank you that today we can celebrate these celebration and the rest that we are not fully understanding you bring to us father bless this ministry bless the, the congregants near and far bless minister prophetess glenn. crystal glenn her mother and her son thank you for her faithfulness was she very busy so busy sometimes i refuse to communicate with her unless she does first but God, she's always available. Bless her for her tiredness, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, give her supernatural power. And Lord, we pray for our children, our children, children, our whole posterity. We pray for our mothers, God, that you kept a light on them now, and we keep a light for a good time to come, should you tarry, that they may see the salvation of the Lord and rejoice with us as we do ministry. Father, you're wonderful. We yes, just love yes. you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Father, we bring up Pastor David e. Taylor before you, the man of God that we are supposed to pray for always, because he's up front, yes, uh, taking the fiery darts and all those things on our behalf, Lord. Yes. I'm also in compassion to bring this gentleman yes. before you, Father. Yes. Even while I'm praying, yes. I would encourage those who are online, those who are getting this mission, to tune into Apostle yes. David e. Taylor's ministry. Yes. They are called. Golden truths coming through this brother. Jesus. He, he cannot be on their ministry of their food. Hallelujah. There's so much revelation and impartation yes. and anointings yes. and miracles and signs yes. and wonders and mysteries and mystic wonders. I encourage you to get on board the Jaylenite team. Get on board Apostle David Taylor's team. Hallelujah. The Bible said we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. If we have the spirit of truth, if you lead us to the all truth, hallelujah, we'll get face-to-face -face experiences. If we have the spirit of truth, we can receive life. If our hearts are pure and seeking the Lord, 
We can't imagine life against a man who's leading right. Or when the devil comes to speak to us, we've a guard and a shield upon our hearts. Hallelujah. So we bless him, bless his ministries, and may he continue to continue until he's completed that which God has given to him. Father, we thank you today for, for this time. I add it and stop. I'm Amen. so blessed that we are sorry to close a little bit on time, so to speak, so as not to weary with your people. But your word is gone forth. Yeah. I'm also depend on you. Jesus set the perfect example. And the apostles set the perfect examples. We don't have to fail. Mm -hmm. We should not fail. And we will not fail. And we cannot fail. And we reverence you, Abba Father, mm -hmm. Yahweh, Adonai, Hallelujah. Jehovah. Hallelujah. I am that I am. Amen. Alpha and Omega. Amen. The beginning and the end. Amen. Hallelujah. El Shaddai. Hallelujah, all the Jehovah's that you are, glory to God, we just love you, Hallelujah. though Emmanuel, and we love your son, Yeshua, we love the man, the God, man, Christ Jesus, and we reverence the Holy Ghost that lived with us in and through our uncleannesses and rules us to be. We thank you for your marriage of angels that are employed to work with us and for us. And Father, we pray you glorify both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I'm going to see one last song. Whoever wants to go and has to go, we understand. You're dismissed. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm going to sing one last song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then. Yes, Lord. Pronounce the benediction. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have to do what we have to do. And we thank you for your audience, mm -hmm. your listening here, and your support and your prayers. And like, if you have to go, you have the right to go. Please make you. yourself on the spirit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. my topics, mm -hmm. my topics. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know why the sovereign king. Would leave his throne on high and dwell here in this barren land with mortals such as I. He left his home in paradise, oh, why I never know. But his precious blood has made me drink purer than the burning snow. Am I so unworthy of the blood, unworthy of the blood that sets me free here? Am I so unworthy of the blood, but yet it flowed for me? My first time sing this song. For every time I falter and I bring the Father shame, a droplet of his precious blood that falls upon my name. I'll never know the reason why this thing has come to be. All I know is that, is that he did it and just did it for me. So unworthy of the blood, unworthy of the blood that sets me free here. Am I so unworthy of the blood? But yet it flowed for me. For every time I falter and I break the father so ashamed. Just a droplet of his precious blood that falls upon my name. I'll never know the reason why this thing has come to me. All I know is that he did it just for you and me. Here am I. So what word?
unworthy of the blood, unworthy of the blood that sets me free. Am I so unworthy of the blood? But yet he sets me free my last time. Hear, Lord God, are we? We're so unworthy of your blood. We're unworthy of your blood that sets us free here. We are so unworthy of your blood, but yet he died for us. Oh, and yet he died for us. Brethren, and yet he died for us. And now may the Lord God of hosts, the Almighty One, the All Powerful One, the Most Unfailing One, bless you. And may He preservingly keep you. May He hold you close to His breast. In the spirit, may the rhythm of his heart be vibrated into your, be transferred to yours. May he give you strength and counsel. May you be willing to listen to him and ask for the grace to obey him. May he intimize himself with you. May he provide your needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And as you take on kingship rights and joint kingship rights and Praise the rights so that he can trust you with himself. May he increase his blessing that you will utilize to his honor and his glory. Jesus Christ is the only wise God. His Father is the only wise God. And he blesses on time when he has proven his saints. So we pronounce that blessing upon you, upon your families, upon your parents, upon your lineages upon your children's children hallelujah upon your communities your countries your parishes your districts your uh, provinces your church your business your all jesus christ is lord he is condescending trust in him with all of your heart back him up with his own word he cannot deny himself Oh my God, he's so intimate. He speaks so often. And he's so intimate. If you're not restful, you can't hear his voice because he speaks gently. And the Holy Ghost speaks in a still small voice. At times, his speaking is just an impression. It's just an option. It's even a disappointment. You know what I mean? But God is intimate. We decree this God to you. We declare this God to you and his son. We declare this Holy Ghost to you who cannot deny themselves, who is conferencing night and day on our behalf. We bless you in the name of the Lord of all languages, tongues, and tribes, and nations all across the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us and gave himself for us. And don't forget to remember that our lives are hid in Christ, in God. Oh God. I'm finished. Amen. I could go on. Hallelujah. It's so interesting. Hallelujah. Bless you, woman of God. You're such a blessing. My God, you're such a blessing. My God, thank God has sent you into my life and in my life. A happy, prosperous one. God bless you. You're an encourager. Hallelujah. We love our brother now. We have to go. <laughs> we have to leave. That is part, what was part one. But in the Bible, we could carry on. Yes, but God has given us wisdom. So yes, we bless him in the Lord. Have God. a good week. Should the Lord tarry us. And we meet again if he tarries in victories and triumph. His victories and his triumph in Jesus' name. We love praise you all. God bless you. Happy Resurrection Day. Glory to God. And for those that are with um, Passover, we celebrate the Passover too as we are learning and we are in school with our spiritual father. Amen. Happy Passover. You know, it's another couple of days until the 13th of um, April. 
So happy Passover and happy Resurrection Day. To God be all the glory, all the praise. Thank you, Minister Vasa. We love you. The sun is still shining. Right and we'll here. see what the Lord has in store for mm -hmm. us. We love you and we are dismissing Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you all. We see who you are and we'll pray for you. My Jesus is nice. Nice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.